To create your rainbow magic unicorn EOS, first you'll need a full EOS container and you can use whichever color tingles your jingles. First, carefully use a knife or butter knife if you're accident prone like me, and pop out the grate with the lip balm attached, and then use the knife to stab the lip balm until it falls out and dies. Okay, I'm just kidding, this is getting really gruesome. Now take your favorite array of rainbow crayons and begin cutting off the tips, and this is what we're going to use to give us those vibrant colors filled with magic and wax. Next, I'm mutilating the lip balm we removed earlier by chopping it up into little chunks. Now take the tip of a crayon and a chunk of lip balm and plop it into a metal spoon over a burning candle. And you know, there are so many ways for this DIY to go wrong, so please don't cut off your fingers or burn your house down. Thank you. So I added a pinch of glitter to this spoon because I wanted the top to have glitter in it and then I just poured it into the lid of my EOS lip balm, yay! I put the container into my portable freezer here, so fancy, so it can speed up the drying process in between colors. I recommend waiting until each color is pretty dry before putting a new color in because you don't want them to merge together. Once you reach the halfway point of your EOS lid, screw the grate back on and finish filling it with color. And once you get to the last color, make sure it almost covers the grate so the lip balm will have something to attach itself to like a fungus. Now put the lid on by twisting it and snapping it into place. This part was a little confusing for me, I had to actually snap it into place. Then put this into the freezer for around 20 minutes to harden. While that's baking, the magic is about to begin, and I'm using this glitter foam that I got from the Dollar Tree to make the horn. I started by folding it with a corner in the center and cutting until it was the perfect size and shape. So once you're happy, roll it up as tight as possible like a little glitter burrito and use hot glue as you go. And be careful not to burn yourself because I did many times. Ouch. Now take some gold twine, I hot glued it to the top of the unicorn and wrapped it around ever so elegantly and then I just snipped and glued to finish it up. So 20 minutes later, our unicorn's insides are just as magical and perfect as expected. Feel like I could die. Okay, so you can use fur or cotton balls for this next step. I just cut off a strip of fur and positioned it and the horn on the EOS lid to get an idea of where I wanted it to go. And next I just hot glued it on to act as my unihorn and uni mane and gucci mane, whatever, lots of manes. Next I used some silver utensil, utensil? Next I used some silver tinsel or you can use anything that resembles a tail like ribbon or a curtain tassel and I glued that to the bottom of the EOS container. So now my unicorn has a tail, woohoo! For final touches, I got some hair spray and I lightly spritzed it onto my unimane and sprinkled on even more glitter onto the fur. Don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter critter. We're trying to reach 1 million glitter critters. Also, I'm gonna be at BeautyCon LA July 11th. Come out and see me! So I just found out today that hashtag Team Glitter Critter made it into the top 12 of the NYX Face Awards. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. Really like it. And I want you, do you want me, do you want me to?